So you've heard about my maternal, uh, my paternal grandmother. Um, that was the testicle fairy that was um, could have, should have died. This is about my maternal grandmother. I've got a grandmother on my mother's side. And, uh, well, she's, she's gone now. But um, when she was with us, she was all about God or gardening. <laughs> that, that was it. That was pretty much it. But there was also a little piece in between, which was homeopathic. And of course, with gardening, you like grow your herbs and your spices, and you fix things with those things. And so that was part of it. God pay, played a major part in all of this as well. So here's the story. I was ill. I, I don't know how ill I was. I was like six or seven years old. But the doctors had their chance at it. And now grandma got called in. <laughs> and um, I didn't know exactly what that entailed, but when she got over to the home, my parents had like had a little space for me where I could watch TV in the living room. They had the uh, hideaway couch bed, and they pulled that out, and everything was going awesome. I was missing school. <laughs> I was feeling somewhat ill, but not like deathly ill. And I was playing it to a certain degree. And then I'd go to sleep. And the next day I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it today. <laughs> but grandma came in and she said, you, Cindy, my sister, my older sister, you go out into the cornfield. Now, if you remember the other story, Tom Bruner Field was one way across the street. On the other side of our house, the back, the back side of our house, the back um, lawn, there was like three acres of corn. So this must have happened in like June, July, August, because the corn was really high. And she said, collect leaves from the corn and bring them into me. Raul, my other brother, vapor rub, <laughs> aspirin, Ventura, my mom. Give me some alcohol. <laughs> and so all of them had been given some kind of a task. And my grandma was like, you, come with me. <laughs> I was brought into the bedroom. All your clothes off, just underwear, just underwear. Stripped down, I laid down in the bed, and my head on the pillow. My sister came in. She had all these corn leaves. It was like. I don't know. It was not a very nice bouquet. <laughs> it was just like corn leaves. My, my grandma had them. My mother had been instructed to take the aspirin inside of a plastic bag and mash it down with a rolling pin. Now, mind you, the industry has now introduced aspirin cream, but it, it was not out there. <laughs> At this time, aspirin cream had not been invented yet. But my grandmother, knowledgeable as she was with God, and gardening, <laughs> knew that if you combined vapor rub and aspirin, you had aspirin cream. <laughs> and she had mixed these two items together. She had her bottle of tequila, and she had her leaves, the, 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 the leaves, the big, long, green ones of the, of the corn, not like the little ones of the husk. And uh, I was laying in bed, and she instructs my sister and my mother, who are now at the foot and at the, at the head of the bed, hold him. <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> so this is kind of shocking. You know, like, why, do you, why would you say hold him? I'm right here. I'm not even, I'm not even struggling. And so my grandma, she grabs these leaves of corn, and she commences. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios, rega, Señora, por nosotros pecadores, ora y en la hora de nuestra muerte. Whipping <laughs> me with these corn leaves. I don't know if you've ever ran through a cornfield before, but these things are serrated. They're, they're serrated on the edges. 
And you may not come out bleeding, but there's microscopic cuts. <laughs> she paused. You know, I don't know if you're familiar with Spanish, but that was not the whole Virgin Mary, Hail Mary prayer. And now, you know, hold him came into an understanding for me. At which point she said, flip him. So now, my little underwear is butt up. Rega, señora, por nosotros, pecadores. Ahora y en la hora de nuestra muerte, también. I had been whipped on both sides with the corn. The the treatment was still in progress. I didn't know exactly where it was going. I had never been treated for what I had before. I don't want to go to fucking school. <laughs> Syndrome, perhaps, is what it was. And now she grabs the tequila, vodka. I, I could not possibly identify liquor at this point in time in my life. But she takes a swig of it. <laughs> Flip them. <laughs> Who needs a spritzer spray bottle, right? <laughs> She's got this stuff down. And I was on fire. I was on fire. I could feel these little lesions all over my body just yelling out, Help! <laughs> to which, in response to that, the vapor rub and the aspirin cream was then smeared on, and she's like going on my little legs, and she's like, and on my body, and flip them, on the other side on my back, and to finish it off, I got two little dollops of aspirin cream into my nose. So I could smell that all night long. And then they wrap me in these sheets like a mummy, so I can't go nowhere. <laughs> Put me onto this bed. And <laughs> terrified. I'm terrified. I'm in pain. All I can think about is, God, let it be over. Because I have done the rosary with my grandma. Whenever she babysits, we do the rosary, and that's... That's 10 Hail Marys, one Our Father. 10 Hail Marys, one Our Father. 10 Hail Marys, one Our Father. Glory be to God. So I was like, that was just, that was just one Hail Mary. <laughs> Damn. But it was. It was over. It was over. And I tucked it in, the little sheets on the sides. And they left me. They left me there. And I, I, I must have passed out either from the, <laughs> the shock of it all, the, the pain. I was on fire in, inside of me. There was, but the aspirin cream kind of like soothed it to a certain degree, and the pain was kind of relieved. And, but there was still, you know, like the shock value of like, when they asked me the next morning, how do you feel? <laughs> Santa Maria, un milagro. <laughs> milagro! <laughs> I feel great, Grandma. <laughs> Horrible pain, but did not matter that I was like still suffering somewhat. I was going to go to school. <laughs> I was going to participate in life once again, and uh, thank you, Grandma. <laughs> thank you.